Thank you to the Economic Times for inviting me to be here today. My English is very, not very good, but they asked that I speak English, so I will try my best today. <clears throat> Almost yes, uh, three years ago, I founded OnePlus. We started with six employees and uh, plan to sell our phones in 16 countries. Since then, we've launched two smartphones, two operating systems, spread to 36 countries, and now have over 900 people. Before OnePlus, I spent 16 years as a product manager and engineer. I've learned many things throughout my career, how to manage a team, improve operations, and choose the best partners. But of all that I've learned, the most important piece of advice I wanted to share is to focus on your product. This advice is not new, especially in the tech world, because all founders say they put product first. Some of them truly want to, but few actually do. OnePlus truly does put product first. To give you an example, we originally planned to release the OnePlus 2 in April 2015. Producing hardware, especially for new companies, is difficult and uh, ex expensive. So it is vital to meet these deadlines. But when I saw our options for the cameras in late December of last year, I wasn't happy. I wanted to find the best camera for the OnePlus 2. That meant to change the entire structure of the phone and uh, another month of testing. This change delayed our launch time, launch date by three months. It cost a lot of money, and many would say that such a delay would shorten the life cycle of the device as the technology become outdated. But what people forget is that sacrificing quality to lengthen product life cycle usually shortens them because the product is not truly great. The OnePlus 2 was released at the end of July, and uh, all 5 million people have joined our reservation list. That itself is testament to our focus on product quality. Had we approved the device that we knew was not right, we would have lost users and sales. We would have had to rush out a new product to compensate the money lost for poor sales. And the next product may have been subpar as well. It becomes a cycle of putting out products that are just okay and have a shelf life of only four to five months. Founders need to be brave enough to make tough decisions. Even when money and the resources on the line. That is how you know a company is truly product focused and those companies are more likely to succeed. Releasing great products is also vital to be to being a global company. At first the OnePlus One was available in just 16 countries. We had team members from these countries, so we understood the users in these regions. We spoke the language, we are familiar with the market, and we are very excited by the positive response in those countries. Media and the users called it the best smartphone they ever used and uh, called it the Nexus Cleaner. But what really blew us away was the response from the regions we didn't launch in, like India. 
Our Indifans were well, some of the most active members on our OnePlus forums and social media. We had no team members from India and net net experience in, in the region. No one on our team had knowledge of the Indian market. But we had a great part, product. Now we have an amazing OnePlus India team. After less than after less than a year, we already have about 20 team members in our Bangalore office and continue to grow. It benefits our users to have a team with no knowledge for a better experience. OnePlus is creating a more global presence for this reason. But until we can have no team everywhere, we will continue to focus on our products and uh, serve customers the best we can. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to tell you not to focus on winning a single market, focus on winning an entire industry. It doesn't matter what business you are in. Focus on your core strengths and create the best possible products in order to beat your competitors. At OnePlus, our mission is to build the best smartphone in the world. And we will continue working on that goal by focusing on our products and our users. After all, people of all cultures, genders, and ages we are always love great product. It's our job as business leaders to focus on making our products the best that they can be. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.